Hello and welcome to a very summery sketchbook club. This week we will be creating this beautiful painting of a row of little beach huts with stylized sea and the name of a seaside town. I've always loved those vintage seaside posters advertising beachy locations. So this week I thought we'd create our very own. So for this module you will need an HB pencil, your size 1 and your size 6 paintbrushes, a set of acrylic paints just for the blue and the black, a set of gouache paints and optionally you'll need a white gel pen and also some good quality colour pencils for the details at the end. So the first thing to do is to print out your reference sheets instructions and chosen town name. Next draw a line and paint a dark blue stripe at the bottom of your page using acrylic paint. Whilst this is drying draw in your beach huts and the details of your waves. Now mixing a nice palette of colours using your gouache paints paint in your sand and start to add colour to your beach huts, really looking at the reference sheet for detail and shape ideas. Remember, at the moment we're simply adding a base coat. Looking at the reference page for the sea, start to paint in your waves. This is my favourite way to paint the sea. I love the shapes and I love adding the pen details later. Now the beach huts have dried, you can add more layers of paint details like stripes and windows. Oh, and we can add the window frames later to avoid any fiddly painting. Keep adding details as you go, keeping a close eye on the reference sheet for ideas like surfboards, seagulls, buckets and spades, and lots of lovely details on the huts. And don't forget the roofs, there are some lovely ideas to choose from. I chose a fish weather vane and a wooden bird for mine. Keep adding in layers as much as you like. I'm terrible, I've fiddled with my work for ages but you may prefer a simpler look. Next, get your chosen town name and draw over it with your HB pencil, pressing quite firmly. Turn the paper over and position on your dark blue stripe, then scribble firmly and evenly over the back to reveal the lettering. Go over your lettering with a white gel pen or white pencil before filling it in with white gouache paint using your size one paintbrush. Keep the paint thick, but not too thick, so it's a bit like sort of double cream. It might take a few layers to get a good coverage. Making sure the whole of the letter really stands out and it's not too translucent. You'll know when it's finished, it'll be nice and white. Now you can add detail and shading using your coloured pencils. You might like to add stripes to the huts decorations on the roofs or bunting, anything you like. As I said, I love adding details, so do tend to spend a little bit too much time fiddling, but you might like, as I said before, to keep it a bit more simple. I added lots of shading too, behind life rings and under roofs. It helps the image look a bit more three-dimensional. Next, it's my favourite bit, the white gel pen. Now, I do sell them on the website individually, but you can get them online in sets too. It's so satisfying adding the pen for the window panes and details on the huts. If you don't have one, use a white coloured pencil instead. I'm using my gel pen for the waves too, but you could use any pen or pencil here. It looks really lovely when each wave is painted a different co colour and the different coloured lines on top make a really nice addition. Have a really good look at the reference page for other ideas of how to paint the sea I think people wrongly assume that to paint the sea it must be realistic, but the more illustrative the better, I say. Have a little experiment on a separate piece of paper. You might find your own special interpretive way of drawing waves and the sea. I think this is my favourite method though. I love drawing waves like this. It's actually very calming and relaxing to do. You might also like to add a few dots at the top of the waves for sea spray and on the sand too for reflections and highlights. Working from the top of each wave inwards, the white gel pen loves the flat surface of the gouache. And there, finally you have it! Your finished masterpiece! Everyone's was so colourful when we did this in my studio sketchbook club. It's such a gorgeous summery image. I hope you love creating it as much as we did. Don't forget to share your work using the hashtag sketchbookclubbeachhuts. Take care, lots of love, and see you at the next sketchbook club.